is better when we are together Top down cruising through this life forever I like us better when we are together Dinner or movies, I'm down for we're Trevor Hey everyone! Hi! I'm Priscilla Sybin And I'm Luna Soul And, and this, this is Trash Pop! Girl, today is a very exciting video. Yes, it is. Because we are revealing a project that we've been working on for <sighs> over two years now. Oh my God, it's really been that long. It has been. And I mean, we released some songs from this project about a year ago too. Yeah. That's how long this has taken us. Oh. And I mean, part of it was because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes. It but was. part of it's also because it's hard to work on an album when you're not living in the same place. Yeah. Two different sides of the country. Yeah. But that said, today we are revealing our, honestly, our baby. We've oh been working God. so hard on this. T3, y'all. And Luna, do you want to do the honors of revealing the title of the album? Yes. All right. So our album is called Find Me in the Next Life. Ooh, that does it that just feels a certain way. Like the unspell behind this for us is that like as we've mentioned before on our channel, both of our mothers have passed. Yep. Uh my mom almost two years now, yours ten? About almost ten. Six, 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 seven. Seven years now. So the whole idea behind the title is that we are hoping that we will find them again in our next lives. Absolutely. This album, let's actually, let's show the, the album cover. The album cover now. There you so have it. So this album cover is really special to me. It is a picture of my mother on her wedding day. Yeah. And we used this with a nice little blur effect. And I honestly love this. Yeah. Whenever I was like thinking about concepts for the cover, cause I didn't know if I wanted to have Luna and I on the cover mm -hmm. or if I wanted to play with something else. And when Luna gave me permission to use that photo for the cover, I just got this idea to have it kind of blurred. And the that effect kind of just like represents the like losing a person yeah. and the way they kind of start like fading in your memory or you don't really remember them the same way. And, you know, we have this water surrounding the image too that just... Rebirth. It's, yeah, I mean, there's so much there. And you'll see in the song that like, in the songs on the album, you'll see that the cover really does fit a lot of what comes up on the album. Um, I don't want to say that this is like our like, you know, it's like the saddest album and all the songs. No, there's a lot of happy things. songs on here. There's a lot of happy things. But I would say compared to like pure chemistry or we put trauma on RD, this album. <laughs> like pop stick, this this is a more personal album for us. Like we wrote from a more personal perspective on this. And I think we're very excited and maybe even a little, a little nervous scared, yeah. to kind of share these these feelings and like bring you more into our lives through our music. Oh, one of the things I really love about this album cover, I don't even know if you did it on purpose, but mm -hmm. uh, my mom's eyes yeah. are just like perfectly not uh, blurred yeah. and just off centered. I love that effect. Yeah, it's great because you still you get that. that you can look, see though. right into her eyes and just like oh, I love it. This is honestly one of like this is a gorgeous album cover. I fucking love it. Um, but like, yeah, that's what the, we're going to go over the track listing. We'll give you uh, some very like little tidbits of each. Yeah. We're not going to go too in depth, but uh, yeah, we want to go over a little bit of the highlights. The first song is Mona Lisa. And oh my, you've already heard this one because we fan, released this. And I mean, this this song just starts the album in a really fun way. About, it's our whole anthem, honestly. And about taking nudes. <laughs> Everybody in our generation loves to take nudes and send them to people. And this song... Hell, the other day I was taking tea pics. And yeah, I mean, this one, we don't have to talk about it a lot. It's a banger and it's just really fun. There's like, I think the best way to describe this song is Poe Anthem. Yeah. This is for the, this is for the people who are up late at night trying to get it in. Yes. The next one is Still Not Over You. This is a, this is your writing. Yeah. Uh, for this album, just to preface this, uh, the last album, we did a lot of co-writing, yeah. a lot more co-writing as in like, I did like six or so songs and you did like six or so songs. This album, 
Priscilla got so inspired. She wrote the majority of this album. Yeah. And there was a lot of collaboration. Yeah, I think a lot of the demos came from me writing, but then through the collaborative mm -hmm. process, they, they become changed. what they are. Still Not Over You is just a song, like, it's a, you know, your basic love song about not being over somebody. Oh, that's so good. I think it has a fun sound, though. It does. I really like it. It's uh, really fun to sing, sing along to. Yeah. The next song is called Lick It. <laughs> this is yours. And this one is, it's a song that combines being a hoe with Pokemon. And two things I've always wanted to bring together. <laughs> just wait until you hear this one. I I actually don't want to talk about it too much because yeah, don't give it anything. Up there, yeah. We just need to listen to it. It's it's pretty good. The next song would be Tarot, which this was actually a music video released. If you go back, it's definitely a really good watch. If you want to watch it, we put a, we put some time into that. And the best part of that music video, we weren't together at all. We filmed that on opposite sides of the country and made it a thing. Uh, it was so much fun to it do. Was, Tarot is a Halloween song. It's just kind of meant to be fun and campy. I mean, I guess camp is a big theme on this album. It really, I mean, isn't that, All just, our, isn't that our music in general? True. We don't take ourselves seriously, and that's like that's why it's very, it is very campy. Yeah. Next on the album is one of the ones that it almost went on Pure Chemistry. Yeah, it was. But cool. it, uh, it was right towards the end of that album. And we were really tired of everything, so we didn't. So that's when Super Galactic Party Tour came to be. This song is really just, uh, it's an... <laughs> it's an acid trip. It is an acid trip. The main premise of this song is basically like you take a pill and it gets you so high that you have, you fly into space. And now that you're there, you're seeing all these creatures, all these beings, and it's like, you're horny and you want to touch them. But with Super Galactic, there is yeah. there is a cool down moment because what it like yeah you have your drugs to get away, but then there is that moment where you'll have a realization that like oh no like I need to stop running from what I'm afraid of and there's just a nice come down moment. Yeah, I really like the song. It it ended it is like funny and ha 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 like I'm having sex with like aliens, <laughs> but like it does have a more serious side of being like oh like I need to I need to face my fears basically. Yeah, it's fun. Then we have Power and Marilyn, two songs that are, I think, different, but also really fun. Mm -hmm. Power, I wrote uh, about a year ago. Uh, it's just about like trying to help somebody find their power and realize that they have the strength inside them to do yeah. what they can. Like, you're powerful. Like, you can do this. Don't let anybody put you down. And Marilyn is about the dangers of fame and celebrity. Yeah. Because we all know the tragic story of Marilyn. And then the next song on the album will be Dreaming About You. This is, uh, this was actually on our first EP, mm -hmm. Bopsick. We have done a lot of updating. It's having updated vocals. There's a new bridge element. There's a, there's a lot of structural changes yeah. that we did. We just wanted to have justice for this song because it was our favorite off of Popsick. And it was a music video we did. The next two songs are Jane Fonda and Constellation. Jane Fonda is the campiest song on the album. It's it's a good instrumental. You are going to want to dance to this one. It's, it's fun. It's just an ode to Jane Fonda and how amazing she is. Yeah, no, oh, Jane so Fonda, good. I hope you see this. I really hope you hear it. And then Constellations. Constellations is a song about lovers that have burned out and fallen out. Yeah. So a lot to do with like falling stars. More of that like space theme that's on the album mm -hmm. too. I mean, the album almost turned into Super Galactic Party Tour. It did. <laughs> There's just like this, I think like a longing on the album and we're like always like looking out into space, thinking about love and we just family. Want to escape. And yeah, and you can see that on this song, I think. All right, and the next song on the album, which is a very personal song. This is one of the more serious songs. Yeah. Uh, this one is See You Again. I'll let Priscilla take it from here. Okay. So I wrote See You Again, I think like right after your mom passed away. Actually, I think you did. Because I wanted to write a song for you that could help encapsulate the grief that I know that you were feeling and that I obviously feel too, because we both lost our moms. And like, we, I think we talked about this song before. We, maybe in, in this video actually, we just, the song's about, you know, wanting, hoping that there's an afterlife and wanting to be able to see someone that you love another time. Tell me when, tell me when, tell me when. This is also a song that's really hard not to sound like Sharon, yeah. but we're trying our best. Yes. It Absolutely. probably will end up on there. It's <laughs> like trying to make a, a serious song. <laughs> we, we can't. We still can't. 
the most personal <laughs> song we ever wrote. And we're just over here singing, Shane Warner. Uh, that's what we do though. We have fun with we our, do. our feelings. Like we, as people who are trauma response is humor, so. The next two songs are Iconic and Had Enough. Iconic is, it came from like, I think whenever Luna and I would just FaceTime every week to catch up, I would be always like, that's Iconic, that's Iconic, like French for Iconic. And I think I was like, I'm gonna write a song about that. And then I just did it. So Iconic is about, you know, like when I was in high school, not feeling like I could be myself and be flamboyant and open. And then it's just comes to that realization that, wait a second, I'm unique and I'm amazing and I'm iconic. And so this song is a celebration of that. And what about Had Enough? Had Enough is a song that uh, is all gonna be mine actually. Maybe some ad-libbing from you, but yeah. like, yeah. Uh, Had Enough was another song that got made around the time of Pure Chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, Had Enough is uh, another, it's a breakup song. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's a lot, this one has a lot of like, taking the power back and realizing that like, I'm not coming back to you. I've had enough. You will no longer have control over me. It's a lot of like, I'm done. Get the hell away from me. Bye baby. Yeah. And the last two songs on the album, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking around. Two MVPs. We have a song that is actually by now, they probably would have heard this. And I'll cut this out if it's not, but Gravity, I Like a Spider, oh. which is our new intro song. This song is the most joyful song I think I've ever written. <laughs> it is a love letter to my sister. <laughs> is that what, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, me, I thought you meant your actual sister. No, I'm so my, sorry. <laughs> not my heroin addict sister. Because <laughs> the gravity of that situation. <laughs> yeah, no. This is about the good times that we've had together and just the joy that I feel. When this I'm is like the most cheerful song I think we've ever done. It's hard to listen to this song and not like tap your foot and like feel like you're having a good day. Yes. Um, it's just it's all about having fun with your best friend, honestly. Yeah. It's it's literally a love song to your friend. All right, and the close the album is probably the most- Personal. Personal song? Oh, no. Saddest. <laughs> Angriest? Raw. Raw, yeah. I'd say it's the rawest. The, this one has like the most emotion behind it. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think I really, a little bit we've talked about it maybe, that, you know, we. I think we both had some times in our childhood that were a little bit troubled. Mm -hmm. And this song is, I, I wrote it about addiction and specifically people in my life that were addicted to things and the way that that made me feel especially as a child. And this is like so personal to both of us because we both have experienced this in our childhoods. Yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna relate to this song because it's about the powerlessness that you feel when you're a child and someone who's supposed to take care of you is addicted. And I don't think it's coming from a place of like thinking that that person is a horrible person. It's more coming from the place of being hurt and like wishing that that person could overcome their addiction. And they could have been there for you the way that you needed them. Yeah. So we close the album on this really personal note and I think it's a great way to just close everything. And yeah, I mean, that's why we said that this is our most personal album because we we wrote about some serious shit on here. We and also deep into our souls. Some really dumb shit too. Yeah, a lot of dumb shit, Which, honestly. Like, the dumb shit is also part of our soul. <laughs> right? You can't, get, you can't have the trauma without the dumb bitch. No. <laughs> It's obviously trash pop. You know what you're getting already if you watch this channel. Disclaimer ahead of time, yes. You, this is trash pop. And if you haven't listened to a trash pop song already, then you're in for a fun time. Oh my God, if you haven't, I recommend, ooh, if you're gonna listen to trash pop for the first time. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa would be a great track, honestly. Uh, it's just a fun time. Like you're gonna listen to it and laugh and I mean, probably dance. I hope you dance. Oh, in. but let's be let's be honest yeah. here. We have brought this up and we're gonna reiterate to this again. There will not be another album for a while. In the foreseeable future for a while. No, after this we are taking a bit Much of a hiatus. hiatus. If you could describe our album, Find Me in the Next Life, with one word, what would you say? Eco. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna say fuck. I would say camp. Um Sad Girl on the Dance Floor. That's not one word, but. <laughs> Sad girl on the dance floor. I like that, that's actually. It, that's it. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Once again, I'm your girl, Priscilla Sybin. And I'm Luna Soul. And Trash Pop's gonna make the world pop.